Day has finally came. It is beauty room tour day. Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I have been promising you this video honestly for like two years now. I have been working on this beauty room space for what feels like forever, but it is finally complete. I have my dream beauty room we've built from scratch. My husband and I have worked countless hours in this room to make it really just my dream space. So I began working on this when I was pregnant with my daughter who is now about to turn two, which is so sad. So I began designing this room. We have a basement that is unfinished. So we knew down in this basement, we eventually wanted to make a beauty room space. But when we got pregnant so quickly with my daughter, I needed to move my space down here so that I could have my previous beauty room be her bedroom. So that's when I began designing and honestly it was kind of crunch time trying to get this room ready in time for us to take over her room upstairs. So initially we just kind of started slowly but then we had to like ramp it up and then here towards the end like this last year honestly life has just been so crazy with two kids that I feel like it just became a project that just kept getting put on the back burner because we had so many other things going on. Um, but yeah, I designed this room from scratch. I literally have a piece of paper with all of my ideas on it, everything that I wanted, and it just really has came to life. It's like my dream space and I can't wait to share it with you guys. I'm going to go through the entire room in detail, all of my decision making when it came to designing this space. First started my YouTube channel. I started it in our previous house. I had turned our extra bedroom into a beauty room space. I had like a small desk. You can probably go back on my channel and find that space. And it's really just mind boggling to me now that I have this whole like studio dream space where I can film, come down here, play with all of my makeup, have it all so organized and so beautiful. And it's just really a full circle moment for me because I really just started this career more as a hobby and I never thought it was something that I could turn into a career. So anyways, that's enough rambling. I know you want to see the room. So let's get into the tour. It is my beauty room. So this is what the view is when you first walk in. I really want it to have a lot of organization in here and you will see that this room is organized to a T. I have so much space to store items. We have room to grow, room to get rid of things, which is really what I wanted when it came to this space because I found myself outgrowing previous spaces pretty quickly. So we wanted a nice open space. So I'll show you the floor plan first and then we'll kind of dive into, of course, all the shelves and all of the fun things of the beauty room. So like I said, when you walk in, you have my pack system over here to the side, have my beautiful couch right here. And then we have this rug. I actually got this on Amazon. I swear Amazon is the place to go for rugs but I wanted more of like a statement rug and something that would kind of go with the theme you can tell I really enjoy pink so you will see that a lot throughout this room I hate that this is like off center here but I really wanted to keep this wardrobe rack in here and it just kind of didn't really work out but initially I had the couch a little bit more over along with the rug but I wanted to fit that in there so just ignore that and then tucked here in the corner I do have a sink now you're like why do you need a sink but honestly Honestly, you use a sink so much. I feel like in beauty, um, I use it to wet my makeup sponges. I use it to wash off skincare off my face. I use it to do just so many different things. So I feel like it was a fun addition that I got to add in here. I did this fun pink tile, which goes all the way up the wall here. I just think it's such a cool thing to have in my space. I didn't have room to obviously have a bathroom down here because we want to use the bathroom for the rest of the basement, but I just thought this was something I could do to where I still had a space to utilize a sink. When I was designing this room, like I said, I was envisioning it just looking pretty, but still very functional. So this is a built-in, again, from Ikea, and it does hold all of my skincare. We have nice, pretty glass shelves. I can go into that in a detail in a minute, but then we turn it to the side here, and we have a, another pack system. So like I said, this was very custom. I sat here and thought and thought about what I wanted to do with this room, how I wanted to design it. So kind of what I had in mind was to have this space right here be the open part of the room. So when you come in the room, I didn't want to see any lights or cameras or equipment or TVs or anything like that. I wanted it to just feel like a very comfortable, pretty, 
aesthetic room when you walk in the door and I think that's what I achieved so we do have this little shelf here I meant to do this more as like a filming area so it's pretty blank you can see my daughter's monitor mom life but um yeah it's pretty blank so I have this little rod here so that I can film TikToks here I put a light in here too so I'd have additional lighting so I could just film like unboxings um PR hauls anything like that that I wanted to use my hands and be hands-free I designed this shelf for that so after you come around to this corner here this is the other portion that I had in mind this is my shoe rack I really wanted somewhere to put all of my shoes and um, purses and just like pretty aesthetic things again so here is my shoe wall this is from also from Ikea and we have all of my shoes right here again I can go into detail in a second but then when you wrap around here this is my filming area so like I said I wanted everything to be very spaced off. So I didn't want to see any of this when you walked in the door. So that's why we created this wall right here, a more of a partition wall so that you wouldn't see any of this stuff. And I kind of had everything tucked away. So that was my idea behind the design of the room. Um, and now we can kind of go into, hello, you can see me here, um, go into the rest of the room area. I have that light set up. So we had a little bit more light, but let's first get into the pack system here, because I know that this is probably what you guys are most excited to see because it is of course so fun. So what I ended up doing with these was getting little pictures from Amazon. So You've probably seen like those little collage pictures that you can get. I sat here and glued all of them all on this entire pack system. And also, of course, this one over here. I just wanted it to be really fun and pink. And I feel like it just added something unique to the packs. I know a lot of people have the system, but I kind of wanted to just make it my own. And I feel like this was a nice way of doing it. So we're gonna get started with the makeup portion of the pack system. So I did clear front drawers. There are of course custom options when it comes to the pack system, but I wanted to be able to display some of the makeup and I just feel like this is an easy way to have it look cute while also still being functional as a drawer. So this bottom one here holds all of my face palettes. So I have them organized just in a clear acrylic organizer and I do have you know a lot of face palettes. I feel like I don't reach for face palettes a ton, but I. I have a bunch of them so we have some from NARS up here in the front I love these little pods from a color pop those are some of my absolute favorite the juvia's place the blushes are so good um, I have some oldies in here I have the Aurora palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills we have some Mac back here if you guys want to see a full collection video then go ahead and look back on my channel because I've done a video on each one of my collections and these are pretty up to date so if you want to see really detailed on like the entire entire collection you can check out those videos I will link them down below so that one again is my face palette and then moving on to the next drawer here this is all of my highlighters and I have quite an array of highlighters and all sorts of different formulas in here so we have all of my powders mostly right in this area we have creams and also liquids up here and then just kind of an overflow over in this area because I did run out of space for the compacts in here so lots from all of my favorite brands we have the super glow from natasha denona some from becca that i've kept forever back here we have this one from huda beauty do you guys remember when this came out and this was like <laughs> people went nuts for this um it's such a pretty highlight though i actually really enjoyed it we've got some of my soul body shimmering um dry oils back there we've got a bunch back here i've got the new ones here from unearthly cosmetics and just a ton of highlights in this drawer again that collection video is also up on my channel and then moving on to the next drawer here here I have all of my bronzers and I feel like bronzers is one of the smaller categories that I have. I mean, there's still a ton of them in here, but it doesn't fill up the way that the highlights or the blushes do. Wait till you see the blushes. <laughs> um, but I have all of them in here and I love bronzer. I just feel like it's not something I purchased a ton. So we have some NARS. I have Milani up here. Juvia's Place. I really enjoy this contour bronze palette. We have Huda Beauty. Um, some of my favorites are the one from Too Faced, the Coco. And then we have, let's see what else. We've got some ColourPop back here. This one I have had for honestly forever. I never use it, but um, one day I'm like, I'm going to use it, but I honestly think it's expired. Like I probably need to throw it away. I've had it for a million years. It feels like, so those are bronzers. And then if you move up into the next drawer here, I have all of my blushes. Now this is probably my biggest drawer because blush is like my favorite thing 
ever. And I have so many of them. So as you can tell, this is quite the collection here. So we've got tons of powder blushes. We've got cream brushes. We've got liquid, um, lots of options in here. I have all of the really pretty ColourPop ones right here that are shaped like a heart that I love. Underneath that, I have the new ones from Too Faced that are really good. We've got one size here, the new cream ones from Sigma. I have tons of tarts. These are some of my favorite formulas, the Amazonian clay blushes. Lots of liquids up here. I've got a cut of Clinton, some cream ones from ColourPop, Laura Mercier, and then I have back here in the back those Huda ones that I really enjoy. Rare Beauty we've got back there. These new ones from Yensa are also really, really good if you haven't checked those out. So yeah, lots of blushes. This one is one of my favorite drawers to go into. And then I'll just move you up on this unit right here. I just have some fun things displayed over here. So I have lots of the Kaleidos lip sets over here in this corner. These are just really fun. I feel like they look kind of cute and I like to display them here because they're just pretty and they match the aesthetic of the room. I have this jewelry box. My mom actually gave this to me when I was little. I begged her for it for years and she finally gave it to me one day. So I keep that over here. On this next shelf here, I have a lot of lip products. So I have have my tower here that has a bunch of different MAC lipsticks. I have the original MAC lipsticks, some special formulas. I have some glosses on here. I got this on Amazon. I can link down below as much as I possibly can as far as storage goes when it comes to like the acrylic organizers I have, um, rugs, couches, anything that you want to see, you can click the link down below. Almost everything is probably from Amazon. <laughs> um, if it's not, I'll have other websites, but check the links down below. And then I also have here the NARS lipsticks. They sent them over in this beautiful packaging, like this little thing that goes closed shut. So I just kept them in there because I think it's a great way to store them. And then the next shelf up here, I just have this really pretty um, little display that is me and my son that someone gifted me. And I think it's so, so beautiful. I have a bag up here and then this really pretty fun flamingo. I've had this for years, but I just thought it was kind of cute. And then up here on the top, it's hard to show you, but this is my collaboration with Dalton. You guys know I got to collaborate with them on my brush collection. So the shelf is super, super special to me because I keep my collab brushes up there along with my PR box and then a few of the champagne bottles that we got to put in my PR box. I'll probably never ever open those but they're just fun to have up there on display. Moving on to the second system here. This is one of the larger units so there's a lot more makeup stored here in this one so we will just start on the bottom. I wanted to keep two shelves or two drawers that didn't have the clear on each one of these units just in case I wanted to store anything in there that I didn't want to display and that's kind of what has happened so this bottom door here is actually just purses and shoes now you saw my display earlier with all of my shoes but I don't really want to display all of them so inside of here we just have a few ones that like I don't want to put up there like my Uggs um some sandals that are just like you know rough and <laughs> not great looking and then I have like a few extra handbags in here some of my travel bags so this one is nice because I am able to just store extra stuff in there and not have it shown so this next one here though this one is organized and I kind of wish it was shown this is actually one of my favorite drawers in my collection because it is so organized and it just makes my heart so happy. Looking at this, it's overwhelming, right? There's a lot, but it's so organized that it's just amazing. This is a lot of mascara. I know that probably a lot of these are honestly expired, but a lot of them are also not open. So if I need a mascara, I can go in here and grab one. But this whole little organizer here is filled with mascaras. This is just a lipstick organizer that I ended up just putting those in. So we've got all of my mascaras here. I've got some fun colorful ones up here from ColourPop. And then back here in the back, this is just a little organizer that has some brow stuff. So pencils and some brow gels. This one here is all of my liners. So I've got my cream gel liners. And then this one here is all of my liquid liners. And then over here, I have more fun, like colorful shadow sticks, like the milk or the jumbo pencils from NYX. And then in this organizer here, I have all of my cream or liquid eyeshadows. So we have the fun new ones from ColourPop. I've been really liking these, the chrome shadows. 
I have a bunch of those. I have a lot of glitter up here as well. So fun glitter if I ever want to do a glitter look. And then I've got some liquid eyeshadows here from Koki Cosmetics. These are also very beautiful on the eye. So I've got quite a few of those. Um, the Huda Beauty ones. These are her matte and metal shadows. I've got some from Rare Beauty. And then I have a bunch of these um, pots here as well. So these are gel liners. So I've got some from KVD Vegan Beauty. I've got some MAC here, Iconic London, and then some of the ColourPop shadow bases. And then here on the side are all of my ColourPop Super Shock shadows. So I have them organized in this little organizer. This is from the brand Sunny Cosmetics, and it is the perfect size for the ColourPop shadows. I was so excited when I found this because they're kind of hard to store just based upon the size of them. I feel like it's kind of awkward, but this is a but this storage makes it so easy to just pop them and have them all just stored easily in a drawer. I have a couple here that have kind of extended past this, but yeah, lots of Super Shocks. These are some of my favorite items. I have been purchasing Super Shocks since ColourPop very first launched, and um, yeah, they're one of my favorite products. So love having a bunch of those. And then I have a bunch of lashes here tucked in the back back here. A lot of um, Lily lashes. Those are some of my favorites to wear if I am going to wear lashes. So I've got a bunch of those back there. And then over here, I just have some fun paints, um, some hair glitters, things like that, if I ever want to do any looks. So again, a lot going on in here, but it's one of my favorite drawers because it is so organized. Moving into the next one, this is where we have the clear fronts again, and this is my eyeshadow palette. So I have in here half of my eyeshadow palettes, and then the next one here has some more palettes as well. So we've got some Urban Decay up here in the front. I like to display this purple one because it's so pretty. Um, so we've got all of my naked palettes, and then the also the She-Hawk palette. I know that this is an unpopular opinion, but I didn't think this one was that bad. I think people like hate on this one hardcore, but I thought it was a good palette. So I don't know. Um, we've got Huda Beauty up here. Some of my absolute favorite eyeshadow palettes. I love her formula. So Mercury Retrograde, you guys know, is one of my favorite palettes. I've got that one here in front. And then some of her other ones. We've got the Rose Quartz, which I love. The Desert Dusk palette. Um, I have just some other ones back here. This is the new one from Unearthly Cosmetics that I just got. We've got some from Kristen Dominique's brand. I love this latte palette. We have the Odin's Eye collection that they just did with some of your favorite influencers. This is the Flora palette that Makeup Just For Fun did. And then we have just some random ones, I honestly, over here. Um, I still have a few of the Morphe Jaclyn Hill vault palettes. I actually thought these were good. Again, an unpopular opinion there, but I liked those. Um, got some Kaleidos here. And then I think this is just more like random ones, um, Juvia's Place. And then over here, I just have a few other ones. I have the um, Doll 10 Glam Goddess Palette. This one is fun because it has a shade named after me in it. So that one is one that I'm going to like treasure forever. Got Natasha Denona here. I have the Glam and then also the Retro Palette. And then back here in the back, I do have the Jaclyn Hill Palettes. And I think there's another Morphe Palette here on the bottom, like a larger Morphe Palette. Those are a little bit bigger, so I have them back there. And then same thing, there's a few larger palettes back here in the back. Profusion, um, the Michaela Glam Light Palette, BH Cosmetics. I know that this is like no longer, but I hold on to this palette because I loved this palette with a passion, the Oasis Palette. This was like my everything. Um, and I just held on to it for so long. I know I should probably throw it out, but I feel like I have the space, so I'm going to keep it. But yeah, this is this drawer here. If you want to see an eyeshadow palette collection, check out that video because I do have that up. And then this is the next drawer. Now this one has a lot more palettes in it than the previous drawer, but it is still very organized, which makes my heart very happy. Most of these organizers are, again, from Amazon. So again, I'll link those down below. I do also have some Sunny Cosmetics organizers in here as well. Well, they are very nice acrylic organizers if you want something that is going to last you and that is heavy and sturdy and nice and luxe. Check out their stuff as well. But we have here in the front some of my Tarte palettes. I've got the Toasted and the Tarte um, Tartlet. This is an old one, the Tartlet in Bloom. Um, these are all just like minis here, like smaller palettes. We've got MAC over here, Bare Minerals. Um, what's up beauty and then just like a bunch of random ones here on the side over here I have another tart one this is their newer one that they just came out with Maybelline in here um, these are more drugstore so I've got Joa Beauty Essence 
And then all of the Too Faced palettes. So we've got the Italian Spritz, the Pumpkin Spice, we've got the Gingerbread, and all of those here in the front. And let's see what else we've got. Dose of Colors up here in the front. I used to love these little ones here. I've kept them for so long, but they were such good eyeshadow palettes. Um, here I have some of my Sigma palettes and then all of my ABH is back here. I used to collect their palettes. I have quite a few, but I have since not really purchased from ABH in a very long time. Um, but they used to be some of my absolute favorites, favorite shadows. So Sultry is still one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes. It's so good. I've got some little mini ones over here. I've got the shadow blocks from Maybelline, a little stack here from Kaja, some little mini ones from Urban Decay. And then all in this one, I just have mostly nine pan palettes. There's a few other five pan palettes, but up in the front is mostly all Huda Beauty. I love the Obsessions palettes, so I have a ton of them. I am also on Huda's PR, so I feel like I receive mostly all of her collection, so I have a ton of them that way as well, but lots of palettes um, of hers up here in the front. I think it goes all of these are all Huda Beauty, but then I've also got some NARS over here. Kaleidos, they have one of my favorite formulas. I actually have the Cold Brew palette upstairs, but the smoky one is so good too. These are beautiful, beautiful eyeshadow palettes. Got a few more just tucked there in the back, a couple more Kaleidos palettes, but this is just a lot going on again if you wanna see that video. You can watch it on my channel. And then moving up here, I do have my lip collection. When I did this, I wanted to design it in a way that would be easy and accessible without being too hard to find the products. So that is what I did here. So when you open it up, you have all of my lip products. So this one here is all of my bullet lipsticks. I have it all organized by brand, which is so aesthetic to me. These are the new ones I just got from BK Beauty. I've got NARS, L'Oreal over here, um, Urban Decay, some more NARS, ColourPop, lots of bullet lipsticks. And then when you open the next one, I have liquid lipsticks. So this is all just liquid lipsticks, again, organized by brand. So we've got Maybelline here, the vinyl lips from Maybelline, Florence by Mills, Honest Beauty, and then Milani, these just came out, so I just threw them in here, but I wanna try these. These are the Stay Put Liquid Lips from them. So yeah, lots to choose from here. And again, these um, organizers are such a good idea because it just makes it so easy to see stuff. And I can just pull it out, grab what I need, and put it back. I did get, just get these at Target. And then the next one here, I have all of my jewelry in. So I wanted to have a glass top on here. So you can kind of see it because I feel like that's kind of fun to have it displayed. So this is just all of my jewelry. This organizer um, came from Amazon. So I've got my necklaces over here, um, earrings, bracelets, more bracelets, some watches. Um, this was in the Rare Beauty PR package. They're just so pretty. I haven't got to wear, wear them yet other than just for a video, but I'm thinking maybe like New Year's Eve would be a fun time to wear those. Um, some rings over here. I just like this one here because it doesn't really fit anywhere else, but earrings and then just rings and then more bracelets back here. And then when you close that, I do have this display shelf here, and this is where I keep a few of my fragrances. So I just have this little organizer I got on Amazon, and then just some of my fragrances here that I love, and then a few other just small little trinkets. On the next shelf up, I have a few lip products and also a few palettes. I love the way that these look from Kaleidos. I know that these are discontinuing, but they are such good eyeshadow palettes, so I'm sad about that, but I do have those up there. Some of my Glossy Pops, you guys haven't seen these before, they are so fun. They have a lip gloss in them and then they're also a it's not gonna let me open it but a chapstick on top they're so fun so I just displayed some of my cuter blinked out ones in that and I've got some Rare Beauty lipsticks as well as Too Faced that are just kind of displayed there as well and then the last shelf up here at the top just has a fun lipstick print some flowers and then I got this in PR I thought it was kind of fun from Lancome it's just like a giant mascara tube and then we will move into the second organizer right here this one is the same size as the last one again two plain drawers here on the bottom and kind of the same as the last one this is just boots and shoes that I didn't want to put out and also like some handbags that I have so not you know too aesthetic to look at but that is what's in there this one here has my powders and also my primers I do have spots for or something else I just haven't decided what else I want to put in this drawer but all of my powders here we've got pressed powders loose powders and then all of my primers so lots of different primers um, they're not really super organized in here I kind of just put them all in here but I do know that it's nice to have them standing up so you can kind of see 
what you're looking for. And then getting into the next drawer, this one to me just makes my heart happy again because I feel like it's just so aesthetic to look at. But here are all of my concealers. These um, little cases are from Sunny Cosmetics again, and they are just so nice for displaying makeup because I feel like it's really easy to see everything just laid out like this. So I have it by brand. So some of my favorites are the True Skin from Catrice. Um, I love, of course, the ones from First Aid Beauty. I haven't talked about those in a while, but I love those. Um, so yeah, lots of concealers. Of course, Too Faced Born This Way is one of a favorite, and the new one from Huda Beauty is also super good. So got all concealers, and then over here we have my setting sprays. I'm missing two because I took them on my trip with me, but lots of different setting sprays. Of course, one of my favorites is the Morphe Setting Mist. I also enjoy the Urban Decay Setting Mist, so got that. Of course, Max Fit Plus is always a um, staple to have in your collection, so I like that I have those also standing up so it's easy to access. And then this next drawer is all of my foundations. Again, I have them all sitting nicely and displayed. These ones are actually from Amazon. They are a spice rack. So if you're looking for an easy way to store makeup, think about getting a spice rack because it works actually really well. So here are all of my foundations. I just have them again done by brand and by formula. So you'll see like NARS is all together, but there's a few different formulas. We've got Too Faced, Yensa, the Storm Foundation I really enjoy from them. Lancome up here. We've got the True Skin from Catrice. Um, some of my BB creams back there in the back. I love the Pure Lease ones. Got the I Am Magic foundation from Juvia's Place. So we have just lots of foundations. I also have some of my powder foundations here as well. I love the Luminous Powder from Glowish. So that is that drawer. And then we have more lip products here. So this one actually has two sets of lip glosses. <laughs> so I know I have a problem with lip glosses, but I can't, I can't help it. I just enjoy them. So yes, lots of gloss. I've got some from Buxom here, actually probably the most from Buxom. I really enjoy their lip stuff. So I've got like four bins of their lip products, the Juvia's Price glosses. I do really enjoy as well. The NARS lip shines are some of my favorites. I've got a bunch of colors in those. And then the next Next one here is just overflow glosses that I have as well. So even more. So again, just more fun gloss formulas. Um, we have a bunch from Lawless. I really enjoyed their forget the filler glosses. Got some Too Faced over here. Oh my gosh, we've got lots of Lorac ones. I really enjoy their glosses. So we've got two buckets of those. Um, I have some in the back here from Essence. These are also really good. Their lip shines. So yeah, lots of glosses here. And then when you open the next slide out, this is all of my sunglasses. I thought it'd be kind of fun to display these. Again, an easy way for me to find what I need and have them just kind of look cute here. I also have a few little handbags here and then just some like little fragrances there on the side as well. I actually won these on the Creator and Friends trip, Glitter Fallout, got those. So that is kind of fun to have there. And then this next shelf is again, just kind of a display shelf. So I've got a few random things, some lip glosses from YSL, um, some of these Too Faced highlighters. I just keep these on display because they're so pretty. Some of the Ulta Beauty glosses there in the corner. And then I have a few hair products in here. And then on the next shelf, again, I have some more display stuff. So we have these beautiful books that someone made for me. She has an Etsy shop, but she's not taking um, any more orders anymore, but she made these for me and they are so beautiful. So got like a Chanel one, she made a Tiffany book and then also a Prada. They're so pretty. I love that I have them. And then this just has more fragrances on here. I think I got this from Home Goods a while ago, but just an easier way to display my fragrances. And then I just have two more shelves on this one that just have like some fun PR packages. So I've got MAC, Too Faced. I've had that bank literally forever. It's just a fun gold piece, um, a little sparkle wherever you go, which I think is fun to have and some Becca concealers I've just kept up there because I think they're pretty. So that is everything for that spot. And then the next pack system here is just um, not as full as the other ones, but it still has a bunch of stuff. Also my little gumball machine, if you follow me on TikTok, or on Instagram, you've probably seen this gumball machine. I put my sponges in it, just something fun that I decided to do. But here on the bottom, we have this drawer that just has candles in it. So lots of candles, um, mostly just Bath and Body Works, but kind of fun. And then I have a few fragrances over here as well. This drawer here is all of my lip products.
look. So a bunch of lip liners in here and then also some lip masks, more glossy pops, and then all of my fun little lip balms and stuff that I have, I have over here. So kind of a ton of those. Um, but yeah, just a fun lip drawer. And then this drawer is actually all of my ColourPop stuff. So I do have a video on this, but this is my ColourPop collection. So I have all of my ColourPop palettes right here. I am missing a few because I was using them, but lots of fun palettes. I like that I have them all here where you can see them um, and look at them because they're just so pretty, but all of my ColourPop palettes, some of the larger ones here in the back, some of the smaller mini ones, some of the lippy sticks, and then other lip products over here. There is meant to be another drawer here, but Ikea will not restock it for the life of them. So I've been waiting on this for like two years. I'm just kind of thinking it's probably never gonna happen because they don't have any more of this front glass in this size. But maybe one day I will be able to put a drawer there, but there should be another drawer. And then I do have just this shelf here. Um, I wanted to have somewhere where I could hang some purses or, you know, like any clothing items that I wanted to. So I just have this cute pink jacket here and then a handbag and then my pink hunter boots. And then up here, I just have a couple of more PR packages. So Kate Spade, Dior bag, and then that fun disco ball had all of those essence lip glosses in it. We come over here on the side, have this fun little art piece that has all of the designer bags. And then on the back of my door here, I do have my clock clip organizer, which you guys have probably seen on my Instagram and my TikTok. It's just a fun organizer. And I feel like it's an easy way to have all of your clips on display. And then I also have this nail polish rack here in the back as well, where I was able to display all of my nail polishes. So now we are back onto my TikTok shelf right here. And this one again has the drawers that are not clear because I didn't know what I wanted to put in here. So it's kind of actually really organized, but I like that it isn't shown because sometimes, you know, if you're not wanting everything to be displayed, it just makes more sense. But down here I have some of my hats. So some of my like caps, some bucket hats in here, a bunch of my fun headbands that I use for videos. And then this one is just full of scrunchies. Next drawer, these are all of my makeup erasers. I have tons of makeup erasers, I absolutely love them. So we have all of those. I do have a coupon code with makeup eraser if you ever want to save, it's just Makeup Molly. It will save you on the website. And then over here I do have sponges. Most of these need to be washed, so I need to wash them. And then just extra brushes. All of these brushes are actually clean. So just extra eye brushes. And then here are some face brushes. And then there in the back, I just have a few little like hair items and some skincare sleeves as well. And then this next door is so extra and it is full again. I actually just did a giveaway and this is already filled up again with products. So I keep this here if any friends want to come over and find any products, they want to shop any products, and also I save this for giveaways for you guys. So if there's anything that I have duplicates of or products that I'm just not interested in sharing on my socials, I will put them in here for giveaways for you guys. So I have a ton of stuff that I got from the Creator and Friends event that I already own or I have duplicates of. So um, yeah, that is kind of why it's filled back up again. So I kind of have it organized by category. We've got like skincare, eye stuff, face stuff, and then I think I have some box hair dye back there as well. And then this next one here, this is just the PR stuff that I do want to try. So this is kind of the drawer where stuff ends up that I need to make videos with or that I want to film with. So again, I just have it organized by like face products, eye products, um, I think this one just has like lashes and stuff and then a skincare products and then lip stuff over here. So that's all like the new new. And then this up top drawer, this one is mostly just electronics. It's not pretty to look at. So it's just a bunch of electronics that I need somewhere to put. So that's why I'm happy that they are not glass drawers. And then we have made our way back to my skincare shelf. So just a closer look at this. It does go all the way up to the ceiling. Eventually I do wanna put lights in here. I just haven't had a chance to do that yet, but I would love to have like some lights going on, but they are all, again, just those glass shelves that you've seen earlier. It is organized by brand, it's so <laughs> nice to look at. So we've got some of my favorite skincare brands. So of course we have Glow Recipe here in the corner. We have a ton from Fourth Ray down here for Safe Beauty I love. Um, wishful just like lots and lots of brands I don't know that I want to like show you every single one but you guys can see you've got Tatcha, Peach and Lily up there, Keys Soul Care, tons of Florence by Mills over in this corner, we've got lots of Pixie down there and then of course one of my favorite brands is Kapari. I have 
so much of their stuff back there. I absolutely love that brand. Some more stuff down here. And then I do have two little glass drawers down here to hold skincare accessories. So you guys know I love my whip makers. I have done so many videos with these, but they turn your cleansers into foamed products. So I have a bunch of different whip makers. I've got some skincare um, masks over here. We've got my facial steamer and then just like a bunch of random things. My sponge soaker. Um, yeah, just like little wash balls for my sponges, just kind of a bunch of random skincare products. And then this next drawer is a little bit more organized than the last one. We've got all of my razors for dermaplaning and then a bunch of my little tools. So like little gua sha's or jade rollers. And then I have a bunch of sheet masks here. So these are mostly organized, I think by like how they are. So like hydration masks or illuminating masks, eye masks, we've got lip masks in here. Back there I have some pimple patches, so back in this area. These are fun little do-it-yourself sheet masks, so if you ever want to make your own sheet mask, I've got those. Lots of facial globes over here, some little scrubbies to use on your face, um, some extra wipes for my face, and then I also have just some hair tools in here as well. And then we can move over into this other part of the room that I showed you guys earlier. So we do have this rack here that I keep some of my clothing on. I did just get this on Amazon. It is really helpful, especially for when I'm filming clothing hauls. Um, my couch as well is also from Amazon. I don't know if I mentioned that, but it's super comfortable and it turns into a bed, which is so nice. The lip pillow is also Amazon as well. And then we'll just look over again at the shoe self. Who remembers when I got these rhinestone boots? I know I shared them over on my Instagram. I've worn them one time since I shared them last. So, you know, I put some work on them. I got to wear them to Little Wayne when I went to LA with Samantha March and I complained about my feet all night because they are very painful, but they're very cute. So I leave them here, up here on display. And then I just a ton of other shoes here. Um, a lot of these are Amazon. I love Amazon for stuff like this. So yeah, some different shoes. I've got my new Steve Madden bag down there that I really love, the pink one that I got. So these strappy heels, I wore these on the Creator and Friends trip and these were a hit. Everyone was asking me where they're from and they are so, so comfy and so cute. So love those that are from Target. I also have right here this little rack to put my hats on. So that kind of just goes up to the ceiling there and I'm able to just clip my hats on there. I do have this little ottoman over here in the corner. Kind of my idea behind that was something to just like sit down and put my shoes on if I wanted to. This rug here is very plush and cozy. It's also from Amazon. And I have here just some cute little books on here, a flower that someone got me, and then this candle, I actually got this in PR from a brand. And then to walk you over into my filming setup and my filming area, I do have my little gumball machine over here. I'm sure you guys have seen that in my videos. It has scrunchies in it right now, but I kept that over in the corner. And then this is what you guys are used to seeing. So this is what you see in my backdrop of my videos. So I have this wall right here, I do have this poster board. This was at my doll 10 launch event. So I put that there on the wall just to remind me of that cloud, which is so fun. Um, this pompous grass is from Amazon. 10 out of 10 recommend. It's turned out so well for me. It's super fluffy, costs like 20 bucks. So that is a win. I have just a few things here on this little rack on my couple pictures of my kids. I have these two face glosses that I think are really cute. Eiffel Tower. I love the Eiffel Tower. And then in this corner here, I do have a lamp from Target and then also this um, faux tree. This is a new addition to my room. I actually just added this. It's from Amazon again. I swear it's not sponsored by Amazon, but you know, I do buy everything from there. Um, it's a nice little organizer that I have that can hold a bunch of stuff that I don't want out in my room. This is more just like the ugly stuff that I don't want to have out on display, but I need in here. So I've got like actually a bin of of empties. I have just like random stuff that I need for videos over here. Um, some of my calendars and things, my TV remote, glasses, my cameras down here as well, some memory cards, just all the stuff that I need but I don't want to look at. So this is actually a really great idea to have because I feel like it's really helped me stay more organized as well. And then on the top of that, I just do have a few of my brushes. So I have this little organizer that Revlon sent over, which is so cute. So I got some from Sigma here. What's Up Beauty's new brushes and then BK Beauty. And then I've got a bunch of random ones in here that I like to use. Some of the cream gel liners from ColourPop. And then also with their lippy pencils as well. I love having them just in here because I use that constantly. 
If you step back here, you can also see I have this rod right here. The idea behind this was to have a spot for all of my headbands. So I have so many different headbands that I'm always using for my skincare videos and I wanted to have somewhere to display them that I could just kind of grab them from. So that was my idea behind that. So I got this rod and then I just ended up putting these little ring hooks around the headbands and I just put them up there so that way I could kind of see them and grab a headband as needed. So that was kind of a fun touch to the room. And then over here in the corner is where I sit to film. So you guys probably have not seen this part of my room before because I'm typically sitting right here and you are seeing this area, but I do sit in this chair. I have this desk that wraps around here. So I have my desktop here and then um, up here, I do have a, another mirror. I just did an unboxing of this on my Instagram, but it's a really cute little vanity mirror. So it was also from Amazon. It does light up and it's very beautiful and it just sits here on my desk. I also got this new one from ColourPop. It's just a light up mirror. I do have this little organizer here that CoverGirl sent over. This just has a few random things like tweezers, scissors, um, some concealer and stuff that I need when I film. And then also just like some of my favorite makeup products, makeup wipes, things that I want again when I am filming. And then I also have this little drawing that Doll 10 sent over of me in a coconut that is really fun. I have my computer over here as well. And then for the lights, I do have two of these big boxes. Um, these are just an interesting setup. I thought when I got them, I would love them. I can't say that I'm like crazy about them, although they do light up the space well. They're just really big, like they're really big um, in this space. And then also I feel like they're loud. Uh, you have you have to kind of sit there to hear it, but when you're filming by yourself, you can definitely hear them. And then I just have them on booms from the wall. I have another light here, and then also a background light here as well. And then in the corner, I just have my camera. So when I film, the camera will go right here in front of my desk, and then I will set it up so that you can see me here. And then I have my monitor here on the wall where my camera hooks to my monitor so that I can see what I'm doing when I'm filming. I will turn that normally the other way. I actually have it on a swivel. This was something that I wanted my husband to do, which is actually really cool. So you can kind of turn it to be the other way so that if you're filming vertical content, you can have it this way so you can see what's going on. But if you are filming, you know, for typical YouTube, you can turn it. I just don't want to turn it too much since the mirror's right there. But yeah, that's actually really handy to have. Um, and I've got, of course, my mic over there. I think that's pretty much everything for this area. And I think that's pretty much everything for the room. I know that this video is going to be so long, but I knew I wanted to make it as detailed as possible since you guys have been waiting for it for so long. I think I got everything. Um, I feel like I'm feeling pretty winded. I do also have a really pretty mirror right here as well, full length mirror. And then we did a sparkle wall here. This is just a peel and stick that we were able to put on this wall just to add something kind of fun there to the space. That is going to do it, you guys, for my beauty room. Hopefully it was worth the wait and you enjoyed seeing this space. Leave any questions or any comments that you have on my room down below. I would love to hear from you. Thank you as always for watching and I will see you very soon with a brand new video. Bye friends.